Hi, welcome back to Bill Sickler Room. Well, a lot's been happening over the last six weeks since I got back from holiday. Uh, restocking the fish room, uh, cleaning a load of tanks out, uh, re escaping them. But probably the most important thing is we've got a new addition to the family. So here's a picture of Dexter, the Yorkshire Terrier. So we've had him for three weeks. He was eight weeks old when we got him and he's been taking up just about all my free time, as you can imagine. So I've been a bit lapsed on getting the videos out but I've managed to get a bit of time, so I thought what I'd do is the, the vlog for July and the full fish room tour and I'll split it into two parts, save anybody having to sit there for 20 minutes and watch all of it. So, enjoy! Just before we start with the fish room tour, an announcement to make uh, the British Cichlid Association so they've actually asked me to do a talk um, at the convention so it's on Sunday the 10th of September and it's in Rochdale, Rochdale near Manchester so full details are on the BCA uh, Facebook page if you go there so there's myself doing a talk I think mine's about half ten in the morning after that it's Professor George Turner he's doing his talk uh, they've got the AGM and then in the afternoon it's a full auction, so hope to see some of you there. Well a lot's been happening in the fish room during the last seven weeks, seven or eight weeks, uh, since I got back off holiday. So I started restocking the fish room and uh, doing up some of the tanks. So if you haven't seen those videos already, I've created a playlist on the channel called Restocking the Fish Room. So I thought we'd start off with these ones, so these are the Thomas Sickler's Fracky. Um, who I've had a couple of attempts at spawning and um, I did a video about a week and a half ago where they'd actually laid eggs and they've actually they did it again a couple of days ago and um, so I'll put in a little clip here of uh, the, like how many eggs they actually did So unfortunately, uh, it looks like they vet all the eggs again. Um, but yeah, they seem to be going quite regularly. So it was just on four weeks um, since the first one to the second one. So yeah, it's like, hopefully I will get successful with them. I think next time I will take the rock out, uh, put it in one of the small tanks with a little bit of methylene blue and then um, keep our fingers crossed that we can actually like, get some fry off them. So the other fish in this tank is the Crypto Eros Cutteri. Um, so they've been spawning in here again. So they, they've gone a couple of times now uh, since I've moved them. Uh, I'll get onto um, the, the, the fry tanks in a little while uh, and show you, show you the fry actually coming on from like how they're growing on. But yeah, fantastic fish these. I've not long put the lights on, so um, they're looking a little bit skittish. Looks like that's the uh, one of the other females, so she's going into breeding coloration. Yeah, so the Andy Woods did tell me that the male was actually breeding with uh, with two of the females. So yeah, th let's see what happens. But up to now, it's just been the one that this one in the front that he's been breeding with. At the unheated tank, the temperate tank, that's doing really well. Uh, I won't spend much time on that uh, today. I'll do a separate video on that. Um, yes, quite a lot to talk about in this tank. But yeah, just a quick look. So this is the tank that I had the uh, Sajaka in, which are actually still in there. There's a pair of them in there. I've put the stair bay that I got from the auction the other week in there, which are hiding under the rock. There's the male Sajaka. And I had the Geophagus uh, Redhead Tapper Jass in here and I had the, the Damber in here. Um, so yeah, I cleaned all the tank out. I've just put a couple of decorations in there. So I need to decide what to do with this tank. Whether to use it to put a couple of pairs in to see whether I can get them to breed. Like the Phrygdes Passionis or whether to actually get some new species. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do with it. But yeah, basically all that's in here at the moment. There's, I think there's eight stair by and a pair of sajaka. Uh, but the, the male's always hiding at the back here. I think he wants some diver fish to actually feel 
like safe in there that he can come out. The female's normally out and about. But yeah, she's hiding today as well. So this is the grow out tank. So this has got the uh, Ferrichtes Eliotti in there and some of the Sajaka fry that were in the, the tank I showed you just before. So Ian, if you're watching, there's the Sajaka fry from the same batch that you've got some. So yeah, the, they're not as big as what I would have thought, but yeah, these definitely are growing. There is some more here. Yeah, so I think there's six of Jake in there and there's about 20 of the Ferrigdes. So yeah, these will come in handy for the auctions later on during the year. Yeah, the next Northwest Cycler Group auctions in November for, for those that are interested, the first Sunday in November. So this is the South American tank, uh, which is doing really well. Uh, all the fish come over to this side because they think they're getting fed. As you can see, there's nothing else over there. <laughs> so what we've got in here, it's the Guinacara Geirai. Um, which I did have a spawn off these uh, when they were in quarantine actually. Uh, it's the mouth brood and severums, which are doing really well. The geophagus uh, redheads, which the male looks spectacular. The chocolate grow outs um, that I did take to the auction, the North Sicker Group auction. Uh, back in July but didn't sell so yeah I put them into this tank and there's also the Corydoras all in here which I can't see any at the moment <laughs> but they are in here trust me but yeah this tank's doing really really well so apart from the Guinacara they've got a little bit of growing to do uh, the chocolates and the um, and the Severins, they've got loads of growing to do, so it'll take quite a while before they're up to size. But yeah, they're really nice looking tank, this one. I'm really pleased with it. So these are the grow outs of the Gwinnacara Geirai. Um, so yeah, they hatched on the 29th of June, as you can see. So they're what, about five weeks old at the moment, doing really well in there. I left the parents in there with them for about three or four weeks and move them over into the other tank but yeah the, the fry doing really well so yeah I'll grow them on and they'll be ready for the auctions next year tank next to it so this is the uh, the sword tails that I got from the Preston auction and um, so yeah they've spawned uh, so quite a lot of those so I think there's about 20 fry in there. The female's hiding behind the filter. So the male, the size of the tail on the male, it's fantastic. The, the male, uh, the, the tail, it's it's longer than the body. <laughs> yeah, looking fantastic. So yeah, hopefully like these will grow out. We'll get a couple of pairs out of those. So the other growlts that we got going on. So these are the Paracromus um, Montaguense, the the ones that I got from Andy Woods. So I did start off. I think I had eleven of them. Unfortunately, I'd left the lid off, and quite a few of them jumped out there the first couple of days. But these are the ones that have been growing on since. So there's six of them left altogether. I did have seven, but the smallest one actually, um, unfortunately, got <laughs> got beat up by the biggest one. So yeah, there's six of those left. So yeah, they're going to be fantastic when they grow on the red red tiger motos. The tank next to it, we've got some grow out. So these are the Cutterai uh, fry that actually bred just before I went on holiday to the USA. So I'd left them in the tank with the parents and when I come back and I was cleaning that tank out I actually caught them so I think there's nine in there and then the the second spawn that the cutter I had 
few weeks, about three, four weeks ago. So I've actually collected a load of those as well. So they're growing on, so they're about four weeks old at the moment. So I think there's about 20 of those all together. And the other fry I've got growing on, it's the Amatelania minor eye. I've got two males, if you remember, from Wharf after I got back from the States. I uh, introduced them to the females that I already had and yeah, they, they bred in no time. So I've pulled all these fry off them. So this was the 10th of July, so this was four weeks ago. And yeah, they're growing on quite well. I've got this tank here all ready for the Astraki. <laughs> So yeah, it, it's been all cleaned out. Uh, I've got a heater in there for them. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for the, some wrigglers that I can put in there, or, or maybe the rock, put a little bit of methane blue in there, make sure that the, uh, the that the eggs actually uh, stay clean and do hatch. And that's about it for part one of the July vlog and fish room tour. So see you in a couple of days for part two. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed some of the updates. Uh, I'll close this video here and see you all in a couple of days for part two.